like that. All right. Um, how do you feel about the How about those socks? Yeah, you like them? Yeah, is that... Yeah. I'm trying to figure that combination out. I have good, blue tie. So okay, there you go. It'll match the tie. Hi. It was too hot earlier and it was okay. raining and I didn't want to get the tie nice <clears throat> Gotcha. So that'll go on before I take my stuff. Okay, okay. got it. Um, how do you feel about the youths? Coming feel in? good. You know, we had a good spring. Uh, made a lot of progress in, in some areas that we had to make progress in. Uh, players got the right attitude, very disappointed in last year. Uh, not being in a bowl situation that hasn't happened to us for a long time. And so uh, eager to get back on the field this fall and get lined up and uh, play somebody. You guys are going to come to Autzen, right? Uh -huh. It'll be your first trip to Autzen as a Pac-12 team. Um, I don't know, maybe ever. I don't know how that series goes back. Are you looking forward to, to coming to Eugene and playing? Well, it's a, great, it's a great venue, I can tell you that. Tough place to play. We have been there a couple times. I think it was Chip's first or second year we were there, it was 09. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, way back in 94, I think we were there so so we've been there a couple of times but, but uh, it's a great environment and, uh, like I said one of the best venues in college football and a very difficult place to get a win. Yeah Oregon's offense is, has baffled a lot of teams. Do you have an idea on how to shut it down? Well we did a pretty good job in 09 you know it was again it was early in Chip's career but I think we uh, we uh, had the ball going in for the tying touchdown in the last drive and threw an interception but anyways uh, it's tough to defend, and, and really, as much as the scheme, or more so as the personnel. You know, they have great players, which is really the bottom line. You know, the players and the execution is uh, far more important than the scheme. For you guys, a quarterback play was shaky for you a year ago. Yeah. How are you looking at that spot? Well, we got to be improved. There's no doubt about it. We've had uh, four years now in a row where we have not been able to finished with the same quarterback we started the season with and we've really had no continuity or consistency at that position that's got to change if we're going to take a step forward in this conference we have got to get better play at the quarterback position Dennis Erickson joined your staff former sure did head coach. Um, a guy who's been an NFL coach how much does he add to your staff he adds a ton and that's uh, you know one of the primary reasons we brought him in was to jump start the offense uh, in particular the passing game and uh, you know we had a good spring he implemented some things in the offense which uh, really helped us and uh, just selfishly from my standpoint as far as a sounding board for me uh, to go to for advice not a better guy in the country for that you know he's been there done that uh, been uh, Pac-12 coach of the year three different places NFL head coach there's nothing that we come across or no situation we encounter that he hasn't been through how did that come about well, you know, I've known Dennis, uh, not real, not really on a personal basis for a lot of years. Followed his career, had casual conversations. Um, when we were looking for a coach last offseason, took a chance, made a cold call, see if he had interest. Turns out he did. We brought him up, let him meet the staff, kind of went through the process, seemed to be a good fit. Pulled the trigger, and that's how that's how it went down. Your, co your offensive coordinator is very young, former yep. quarterback of yours. Is some of the thought that, that Dennis can help mentor him? Absolutely, yeah. I think right now they're, they're working great together. It's been a seamless transition, and uh, that's one of the reasons we brought Dennis in is that I mean, we've got a, a very intelligent, bright young mind in, in Brian Johnson, and uh, Brian's an exceptionally smart guy, and he understands that Dennis is someone that he can draw a wealth of knowledge from. A few years into the Pac-12 for you, uh, are you? I mean, I, are you glad that Utah made the move? Without a doubt. There's no, you know, it's we've taken our lumps. It's been tough. Uh, this is year three now, but uh, there's no place we'd rather be, and, and we're uh, excited about the challenge that the Pac-12 provides, and we feel like we've recruited very well the last two years. Uh, you know, since we joined the conference, and we're hoping that starts to get some traction for us in the next few years. Changes to the. The, the practice policy that was announced today, does that change what you guys have to do? No, it doesn't. It's uh, it's something that uh, and we talked about as a staff before we put the policy on paper. And, uh, you know, player safety is in the forefront of all our minds, but uh, it won't have much of an impact because we're already doing a lot of those things that we put down on paper. And uh, it just, we want to get out in front of the curve on this uh, player safety issue, and we feel we've done that. How about the super conference idea or super division idea I guess has been to me it's out. inevitable yeah, yeah I think it's coming I don't think there's any way around it uh, there's too much money at stake uh, economically is is uh, the economics of things is what is what's going to drive everything and uh, you know I'm not the one making those decisions or making those calls but I don't see how it's not going to come to pass you're on board with being in that group and, uh, oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. Train, so <laughs> absolutely yeah, yeah.